So you've mastered playing all the types of ships, but you want to learn a little more to help improve your gameplay? Then this video is for you. No, I'm a MLG Pro 360 no scope master that needs no help from pleb equipment. Okay then, suit yourself. Oh, sir. All right, fine. I need help. When you first start playing World of Warships, you'll be given your first ship as a tier 1 cruiser with a single upgrade. You can choose to upgrade the survivability of your main battery, torpedo tubes, secondary batteries, or your anti-aircraft guns. You also have the option of increasing the damage output of your fighters if you have any. Wow, it costs around 125,000 credits to buy it. By the time I could have bought it, I could have researched and bought the tier 2 Samson and Chester. Uh, yeah, you don't want to buy this upgrade too early until you're at least tier 4. At tier 3, you can get your next upgrade option where you choose the type of ship survivability. You can choose from either less chance of flooding and fire, less damage to your engine, or the option of reducing damage to your steering. Wow, it gets even better. Now you have to pay for twice the amount of the first upgrade. Why would you do that? Unable to maneuver. Oh, I see. I still win though. At tier 5, you unlock your third upgrade. This is your first bread and butter for ships. These upgrades will really help you out in the long run. Need that gun transfer speed? Get the main battery upgrade. You need torpedoes to load faster? Get torpedo modification. Unfortunately, you can only take one upgrade, so choose the upgrade that's best suited for your playstyle. What, you're not going to argue? Why would I? I'm not a scrub like you that doesn't take upgrades. I bet you still use auto assists and online mods. Wow, you just said at the beginning, you know what, I'm not even going to argue. At tier 6, you get your next upgrade. You're going to choose your ship survivability again, but this time you have more options. You get to choose between reduced flooding and fire duration, increased turning rate, or increased ship acceleration by 20%. Battleships have their consumables at tier 4, with a spotting aircraft that increases the attack range by 20%, and give topside view of ships. Battleships also have the ability to repair minor damage, recovering health points based on the shaded green areas. Talk about broken. It's almost as if they can stay at the rear of the map and fire away at the enemy ships. No, but seriously, don't do this. At tier 5, cruisers have access to hydroacoustic search, which increases enemy ships and torpedo detection range as well as a catapult fighter, where a single fighter will defend your ship against any aerial attack. When you reach tier 6, you can replace hydroacoustic search for defensive anti-aircraft fire, which messes up attack planes lead. As soon as you unlock destroyers, you'll instantly unlock smoke generator, which stops the detection of your ship once inside the smoke ring, while engine boost increases your speed by 8%. All of this is useful to keep a fragile ship alive. You can get... Wait a minute, you forgot the most rarest class of ship in World of Warships, the carrier. Based on your heroic actions, you can unlock achievements that show how good you are in-game. And get free flags, 